Hey Vinyl Community and welcome YouTubers from everywhere. You're going to see here in a little bit a room tour video of three of my rooms. I did this video about three years ago for Mr. Hall of Fame 6,000 subscriber contest. I've cut all of the stuff out except just for the room tour. And in that video, I did not uh, talk about the equipment. Now, all of this equipment I've done separate videos on for the most part. I'm just going to give you a quick little description of what each component is today. What's the most important part in this system? Well, people can argue, but I'm going to say the speakers. These are Zoo Audio Soul Supremes. The 10 inch driver is a full range driver, and that's a really special high frequency tweeter up there in the top. That thing weighs 20 pounds. These are specially designed cabinets that are tuned and port out the bottom. Hey, if you watched my contest video, you'll learn why it's important to have a music set up in the bedroom. Yes, this is my bedroom music setup. Let's see what a real vinyl community room looks like. Here's my backup listening station. I'll do a future video about this in a little more detail. All you guys that are ashamed of your room, take a look at my room. This is my old system. And uh, to try to get organized and be able to flip a little better, I've got a couple of more of these flip racks. I'm still working on them, getting them all organized. But this is my backup setup. Yeah, that's what they look like. New arrival section right here by my feet i know some of you have fancy crates and boxes that you put the new arrivals in got some notes down here for a video i'm working on yeah most people would be embarrassed to show something like this but hey there's the newest tone poet series record that's out shame I should be ashamed to show a video like this, my room. I listen to a lot of stuff on the computer, so I'm happy to have these nice speakers. I'm uploading a YouTube video right now while we're doing this. Diana painted this coffee painting for me. Proud display. What was a china hutch built into my place here is full of records. Haven't put these away yet. Summertime. Got the fan going. Calax here. Sweet spot. Here's my first one of these flip videos. The uh, whole row on the right is uh, MoFi's, and then the, the next row over is uh, all audio file reissues. The bottom here is my favorite category of music. I finally started getting this group organized. This is female vocals. No matter the genre, if it's a girl singer, it's in here, except for Loretta Lynn and a few of the country singers I have up in the country. There's my old turntable. Once you get one of these newer, better ones, you can't stand to listen to those anymore. An antique about 1932 RCA Victor radio phonograph with the original recording setup still in it. A solid bronze, one of a kind statue of Marilyn standing on the grate. And you've all seen parts of this before. My new setup, my fancy speaker stands. Yeah. I'm going to do a uh, equipment video. Describe the equipment. Be a little bit more professional. Yeah, got crap everywhere. So you guys are afraid to put up the room tour. This one ought to convince you. You can do it. Here's a 1929 Victor 
orthophonic wind-up phonograph, which was state-of-the-art in 1929. Here we see on the bottom a Cambridge CD deck. This is just the transport. There's no DAX or anything in here. That way uh, your system doesn't get out of date there. On top of that is the PS Audio DAC, really high quality. And so the CD transport goes into the DAC and the DAC goes into the amplifier. The amp is a Vincent SV700, uses tubes in the preamp and transistors in the output. I've done a video on this before, like most of the things in the equipment. Probably be doing another one in the future with tube rolling. Uh, this puts out, I think, 100 watts per channel in AB mode. And down on the bottom left, there's a button, you press that and it's fully class A putting out 50 watts per channel, full power all the time, whether you're listening to anything or not. I have really enjoyed this upgrade. Here we see my Phono preamp. This is one of my later upgrades. This is fantastic. It's a EAT audio, that's European audio team. Uh, the top section there is the Phono preamp. You can control everything and see what you're doing from the little paddles there. This is a tube phono preamp and has the highest quality tubes in it. Underneath it is the matching linear power supply. I've threatened to do a video on this, which I may do sometime, but this is really a fantastic phono preamp, one which you almost never hear anything about. Here is my Riga RP10 turntable. I ordered it with a pre-installed Affetta cartridge. I got a discount on this. This is a great setup. I like it because it's simple. You don't have to fiddle with it. I just want to listen to music. And it is outstanding. Hiding down here in the corner is my Zoo Audio 12-inch subwoofer. And uh, I did a little video about this, but maybe in a near video, I'll talk about in more depth about some of this equipment. I've got decent kinds of cable. And in this cabinet, which I'm not going to open up, is a uh, monster line conditioner. So all of the equipment here is plugged in back behind that cabinet to the Monster Energy uh, power conditioner. So this is my setup. Been really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this little room tour. One of my pet peeves is people talking about how great records sound and especially these record, expensive records and comparing one to the other, yet we got no idea what they're listening on. The final little bit there, that's a reproduction of an original Tiffany lamp. In my past, one of my hobbies was stained glass. I made that lamp. I cut every one of the almost 800 pieces of glass by hand. I foiled them. I soldered them. I put this together. So, see you all down the trail and keep them spinning. Happy trails to you. Until...